the whole city series Cigars and citrus sevens, black cement threes, fours The hairs and bread elevens No doubt that I'll be wearing some fire at any sighting With these door and becker fives you can see me in any lighting It's exciting, I'll be flexing to the coldest degree What's up everybody, it's Sneakerhead M Checks Today I'll be reviewing these Guava Ice Union LA Jordan 4s that released August 29th. I know the Jordan Union collection is scheduled to release on the Sneakers app on October 16th, but I didn't see these as part of the lineup, so I don't know what that's about. But either way, both pairs of the Union 4s got real controversial colorways, so I'm mad excited to take a close look at these and see what all the talk's about. Here they are. Lots of unorthodox, unique stuff going on here. <laughs> really nice suede. Got the mesh toe box, which is actually really soft. The best part about that is creasing probably won't look as bad compared to normal. This part right here threw me off a little bit because this like whole U-shaped thing right here is usually not on Jordan 4, so it made the whole thing look wider. Like, look at how narrow these thunders are compared to these. That's crazy. They come with these extra orange laces and this very interesting tongue, which brought a lot of hate to these. In pictures, it seems like the tongue on these is just like made short. But, as I'm sure a lot of you may have seen, it's actually just folded over and stitched down. It'd be like me bending this tongue back like this and then stitching it down like that. I don't know why they thought that was a good idea, but here's how they look unstitched. Here we are from the side. Got the Jordan Union hang tag, which is beautiful by the way. I really like the color on it. But what I want to know is, why doesn't it match the rest of the shoe? Like, it's not that far off, it's really, but why did they have to make this, like, a shade lighter than this? Like, <laughs> like they really pissed me off with stuff like that, because it's just really unnecessary. It would have looked nice if it matched, but anyway. Um, under this, they have the, uh, the uh, Union LA little tab. Here's the other side. Definitely should have had a Jumpman logo back here as opposed to the Nike Air. As I know I say all the time, they need to stop putting the Nike Air on the back of uh, non-OG colorways. But clearly, they're never going to stop doing that. So, I should get used to it, right? <laughs> Here are the back sides of the tongues. I know a lot of people took this stitching out because they do look a lot better with the tongues unfolded. We got the all blue interior with the red on the insole. I don't know about y'all, but the soles on these give me big ice cream vibes. Like, from here these look like a museum of ice cream collab or something. <laughs> now the box these come in is absolutely fire. Got the Jordan Jump Shot release up here on it. This right here is my favorite part of the entire release. Look at this paper. I, I don't think I've ever done this on a review, taking out the paper like this, but this is this is well deserved. Like this is crazy. They really did their thing with this. Look. I'm not going to lie, they did a better job at, you know, packaging these than they did on the sneakers themselves. When the first pictures of the Black Union 4s and these started floating around, I'm not going to lie, I was one of the people that was bashing them. I said they were trash, these and the black pair. But now that I've copped them, I've held them in person, I've taken a close look at them, I still feel the exact same way. <laughs> y'all thought I was going to say, oh, these grew on me, I like them now. No, the these are still not it. I know a lot of y'all like them because they're a union collab, but like, let's be real, this colorway is horrible. I'm actually mad that Jordan Brand made this amazing box and that crazy paper inside that I was talking about for a pair this ugly. I almost want to keep this box and just sell the kicks alone. <laughs> I ain't going to do that, but what I'm trying to say is I definitely kept the same energy on these. I've been seeing people post these like, oh, these aren't that bad. They're growing on me. I kind of like these and I can't relate to none of that. Like I've been looking at these for days trying to figure out like what about them is growing on people. You know, like I said, the suede is nice, but like, like I said, this is still a really not attractive shoe. I mean, 
Then you got the whole tongue situation. I mean, it's almost like they tried to make these bad. Like, I really wouldn't be surprised if Jordan and Union was like, yo, we could put out garbage and they still gonna copy. Yo, yo, let's let's try to make the worst pair of Jordan 4s we could possibly do and see how they sell. I doubt they actually said that, but like, these look like they had a conversation like that. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. And if you disagree with me on these, that's cool. I'm not here to offend anybody. I'm not here to debate, you know. I'm not about to be going back and forth in the comments with y'all about how ugly these are. If you like them, you like them. If you don't, you don't. Whether I like them or not, ain't gonna do nothing for you, so ain't no big deal. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. There's been a couple of pairs that I love that a lot of people wasn't feeling. And to be honest, I could care less who's feeling them or not as long as I like them. So if you like these, I'm not knocking you. You just won't catch them on my feet. <laughs> You'd have to pay me to wear something like these. Keep it G. But yeah, like I said earlier, the Jordan Union collection is scheduled to release on the Sneakers app October 16th. I see they got the clothes, the Delta Mids, the Zoom 92s, the Black 4s, but not these. I really don't know why. But if they do really exclude these from the sneakers app release, I do expect the price to go up on these a little bit over the next couple of weeks. They're going to go up a little bit because with that being the case, it's looking like there's not going to be a second chance to get these for retail. After these have been out for a couple of months, I feel like they're going to slowly start to drop in value and maybe end up going down a couple of hundred from what they are now. Then a couple months later, maybe around like springtime, I feel like these are going to start shooting up in value. That's pretty much what happened with the Union 1s. Now, I don't ever expect either pair of the 4s to ever sell as much as the 1s are, for obvious reasons. But I do expect them to follow a similar pattern as far as going up and down in market value over time. So if you're looking to buy either pair of Union 4s, I feel like the best time was probably going to be this winter. Collabs like this that go for the big money... At any point in time, they could just shoot up in value. And it's not like a pair of GRs where they might shoot up, you know, $20, $30, $50. Y'all know these could easily shoot up one two hundred dollars in a couple of hours or a couple days easily so i feel like the winter is going to be the best time but my suggestion is just to keep your eyes on the market but yeah i hope this video was helpful please tap that like button and subscribe to my channel for more sneaker related content thank you all for watching and i'll see you next time